between Jessica Andraj and Claudia Gedalia. Well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. All right, so here she is, Bate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John, and she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised in the belt back around the waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Claudia Gadella. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batista Andrade. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against the striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect the level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Both fighters back to their feet now. Gedalia gets in a clinch here early. Nice straight punch. And she misses with the left punch there. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, so she attempts to take down here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time securing the hips. Why not go up her body, try to engage in the clinch, try to mix it up if you want to get these takedowns. Andrade gets touched by that kick there. Massive elbow kick. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Midway through round one. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns, to really, really confuse her opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Gedalia's now trying for the Kimura. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Another clinch position. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. Still unable to find that precise range. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's gonna be very difficult because the way that she attacks is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, she's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damage off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. Oh. You do well in that? No, John, no, I did horribly. Uh. I thought that I could use my graphics algebra. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. That's a big strike right there. 46 total strikes and counting that have landed for Jessica Andrade. They're connecting at a 68% clip thus far against Claudia Gadelli. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so again, we find ourselves here. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. That's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Working out of that southpaw stance. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Nice punch lands over the top. Try to establish that jab. Cadelia's lowered shot now starting to show signs of slow. All right, so again, she tries for the takedown here, and it is just Medelia's looking for that arm triangle now. is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. And the horn sounds on round two.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. gets hit with a kick. Oh, look at that double leg takedown by her there. She's as good with that takedown attempt as any fighter I would think in this division. As good as anybody across any division, across any gender in mixed martial arts. It's a confidence that she has when it comes to that specific takedown attempt. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she gonna use to follow it up? And she lands another punch there. And this was not a pre a shot of double leg. Oh! Massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Lands the right hand. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Wow, she just continues to execute on these takedown attempts. She hasn't always been able to keep her down. But she seems to be able to take her down. Well, and she has cardio to continue doing this right. for 50. Uh, she did not miss there. This could be the end. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. 89 total strikes have landed for Jessica Andrade. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Cloud Jigadin. So she goes to the kick and promptly lands. Nicely done that. She has done that over and over again. Every time she throws it, it's landing. Right hand punch the kick. Back and forth we go. You get up, you go down as another takedown and tip land. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Big one plant in the middle. Well, in the men's game or in the women's game, the execution on a double leg takedown doesn't get a whole lot better than that. It does not get much better than what we just saw. Her confidence in finishing the shot is unmatched. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, spinning back fist for her out of nowhere. Gedalia's lower jaw looking extremely wow. swollen now. Can't take pictures now. She has to this double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. All right, it looks like the official Ladies decision the is in. Yes, the here's Bruce Buck. All three judges scored this contest for 928. We play the winner by unanimous decision. Jessica!